So you want to create a very simple email automation, but not sure where to start. After watching this video, you'll be able to create one literally from ground zero and completely for free. I'll show you the best tools to use and how to set up your very first email automation campaign. All of this based on what I've learned in my marketing career during the last 10 years. Spoiler alert, it's not as difficult as it might seem. By the way, this video is sponsored by Brevo, more on them a little bit later. So I've been running my own weekly newsletter for the audience of my channel. And uh, in this video, we're gonna be using email automation examples for my own email marketing strategy. So in this video, you're gonna be watching me creating two most commonly used email automation chains. The first one is welcome series. And the second one is lead nurturing slash drip campaigns. So let's start with the welcome email. Your very first step is to head over to Brevo, create your free account. And as soon as you're there, you need to head over to automations. As you can see, here is a list of some of them that I've been playing around with. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to create an automation. And uh, as you can see here, they offer you a bunch of ready-made templates for different use cases. For example, abandoned card reminder. For that, you need to integrate your e-commerce store. So it's not really applicable to our example. We wanna create a welcome message. So I basically have two options here. I can either click here and I can start using the ready-made sort of skeleton or an outline that they've prepared for us. But I want to go the extra mile and I want to create my automation literally from scratch. And as you can see, the interface of the automation workflows looks extremely intuitive. And all you need to do is to drag and drop different triggers, actions, and or rules. And the first step for us is, so if it's a welcome email, they basically need to submit a form which in my case is a newsletter subscription form that I have on my website. So here we can see a form submitted trigger. So I just drag and drop that here and we need to select our form, right? So um, in our case, it's my growth marketing newsletter, but you can create any form that you wish and just connect it to Brevo. Um, so let's just choose this one and hit save. So this is done. And basically, as soon as the form is submitted, we need to make sure that the welcome email gets sent. So in the messaging list, I just select send an email. I drag and drop it here. So here I can basically select an uh, existing template that they've offered. And uh, again, there is plenty of almost ready to be used uh, templates, right? So they have basically two versions, either basic templates, it's mainly just image and text. And they also have uh, more advanced um, coded uh, emails. But in my case, I've actually already created uh, my welcome template. So I can just hit here to preview that. This is the one that I'm gonna be using. So I just click use it. And then they're gonna show me an actual email editing interface. So maybe I just wanna add some final tweaks. But in my case, I'm happy with everything. So I just click use this design in automation. And just in a couple of seconds, um, we are back to our marketing automation workflow. So we have everything in place. And uh, I think the very final step here is to make sure that the subject line is correct. So we want to welcome them to my newsletter. I can also add some preview text. Uh, it could be anything really um, connect with me and stay tuned, anything. And uh, I'm just double checking the email address, the sender name. I uh, can also add some additional settings. For example, I can choose here some specific time frames on when this automation gets triggered, but this is not really applicable in my case because they can sign up to my newsletter anytime. So it needs to be working basically 24 seven. Maybe I want to be alerted uh, whenever a new user gets uh, subscribed. So I can just uh, send a copy to my personal email address. I'm not going to be doing it now. What I can also do is, uh, for example, let's say I have my own 
e-commerce or any website that is connected to Google Analytics. So I can activate Google Analytics tracking and I can just add a custom UTM name. So in my Google Analytics reports, I will see exactly the traffic and the conversions that come from this specific email campaign. Again, not applicable here, but might be useful for you. So I think we can just click cancel here. I can test my automation uh, to make sure that everything is all right. And the very final step is just to activate it. I know that a lot of people are super hesitant to get started with email automation because of the complexity of their tools. Trust me, with Brevo, it's extremely easy. Basically, the reason why I love Brevo is because you don't need to have any technical background to create your first email automation. And also, Brevo's pricing is super attractive. So in the free plan, you can send up to 300 emails per day. It also obviously includes automations and other incredible features such as their drag and drop editor, transactional emails, and even SMS campaigns. But for example, if 300 emails is not enough for you, you can switch to a starter or a business plan. And by the way, I've teamed up with Brevo to offer you a special deal. You can enjoy 50% off the starter and business plan for your first three months. Just jump to the link in the description for more. And now using exactly the same logic, let's create a lead nurturing automation. So again, let's create it from scratch. And let's imagine that I want to run a campaign where they can download a marketing CV template. And what I want to do next is as soon as the download is done, I want to then send a few more nurturing emails. And my ultimate goal here is to make sure that I convert those users into my marketing career coaching program. So the very first step would be, again, since they actually download uh, a CV template, there are two ways here. So they either submit a certain form, it could be just a test form, just for the sake of this example. There could be multiple ways how they can start this automation. Maybe I already have some existing emails from the past and uh, I want to add them manually. So in that case, I would just um, choose here another trigger that is called contact added manually. So basically, as you can see, the idea here is that you can add as many very first touch points or triggering for any automation. So let's say that uh, either of these conditions have been done. And of course, we want to send them the actual email containing my marketing CV template, right? So I would just select any template here. I think I would go with a very basic one. I think the default one can work. Um, so it's basically an image and then I would just replace uh, a call to action here with the actual PDF containing the template, right? So for now, I can just um, save the template and I can get back to it um, later on. Because at this point, I just want to build out the sort of logic or the workflow itself. And I'll be working on the actual content a little bit later. But for the subject line, um, let's just replace it with here is your CV template. And uh, we actually want to personalize it um, by adding their first name. And we can easily do that by adding a, con um, a contact attribute that is called first name. Uh, grab your copy here, would go to the preview text and we're good. We just uh, save this particular email. And now, Let's send them another nurturing email, but we don't want to send it right away, right? So maybe let's add a certain time delay. It could be, okay, let's give them maybe two days. We don't want to send too many email comms uh, at once. So in two days, I want to send them another email. And uh, again, I just select an email block here. I uh, drop it here. And this second email would contain some educational content around the topic of marketing career. So maybe here I want to give some marketing interview hacks. Again, I would just go with um, basic template. I think I kind of liked this one because here I can tell a story. Maybe I would replace this with some of the photos from my 
past experiences when I was looking for a marketing job or something like that. So I just saved this template here. Again, I'm going to get back to the actual copy of the email later on. So as for now, I'm happy to use it in my skeleton and I'll just add the subject line and maybe it could be my top marketing interview hacks. We are good and I just click save. And now the very final email would be exactly the one where I'm going to be promoting my marketing career accelerator. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to promote it only to the folks who are extremely engaged with the previous content that I've sent. So I don't want to be sending that to the masses. And uh, in order to do that, I set a condition and our condition would contain uh, basically whether they've uh, opened some of my emails in the past. So here in the filter, I just choose uh, email opened. And again, here I can add um, a specific email campaign. And I would just, you know, I can filter, for example, by a certain email name. But given that I haven't sent any other emails other than the ones who were relevant to those uh, CV leads. I can just choose any type of email at least once in the last six months. I'm completely fine with this condition. So I just save that. And then if they've opened the email, I just uh, send them the actual email where I shed some more light on my marketing accelerator marketing career accelerator program. So I select a template again. Maybe in this case, I want to choose something a little bit spicier other than just the basic template, right? I think I actually really, really liked this one. So maybe here I can replace these blocks with some testimonials uh, from my students, right? So let's just save this template and I'll get back and play around with that a little bit later. Let's get back to our automation and to our condition in particular. So as we can see, if they've opened at least one email in the past, they're going to receive this particular email with my marketing career accelerator. Maybe in the subject line, I will try to boost them to join that by adding something like join my marketing career accelerator. And if they haven't opened any emails, nothing is going to happen essentially. Just like that, we created a very basic automation chain. As you can see, it's very tempting to start playing around with different types of email automations that they have in place. And I just want to give you a very important disclaimer, I would say. Yes, I know how tempting it might be to jump on creating dozens of automations. For example, I know that there's a lot of buzz about an automation like this that is based on a page visit. Basically, for example, uh, you can identify that once they visited a certain product page, it can then trigger a specific personalized email containing a special discount for that specific product. And in theory, it looks very nice. But in reality, you need to make sure that you've got enough audience in order to be able to run that because you can check on uh, their support page. Brevo explains that super clearly. But basically, in order to have this automation running, your users have to submit cookies, they have to accept it. And uh, if you run a very small company or if you work for a startup and you just don't have enough traffic yet, let's say you've got 100 daily visitors on your website and even if 50% of them accepts the cookies, which is still quite a high number, it means that only 50 people would be exposed to this automation. And then, you know, only if 5% of them is going to open that email, the amount of effort that's been put in place to make it happen probably is not worth it. And uh, remember to subscribe to my weekly newsletter to just get updated on more marketing and email marketing tutorials. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done yet. 
And uh, if you want to dig deeper into how you can actually create your next email campaign literally from ground zero, continue watching this next video somewhere over there on my channel.